Okay, so what are Meissner's corpuscles? We are uh, just going to have a brief overview of the Meissner's corpus corpuscles. This is, these are important in our ours in some of the exams. So these are tactile corpuscles, okay? They're a type of a mechanoreceptors. They were discovered by anatomist George Meissner in 1829 to 1905 uh, and Rudolf Wagner, okay? So these are mechanoreceptors. Now, there are basically a type of nerve ending in the skin and they're responsible for light touch. Okay, they also have high sensitivity for vibrations. So two-point discrimination, vibration, and light touch. That is what the Meissner corpuscles do. And they're rapidly adaptive receptors, okay? Uh, they're most concentrated in thick, hairless skin, especially at the finger pads. All right? So these are the things you have to remember. Now, they have myelinated nerve endings. And they consist of flattened supportive cells which are arranged in horizontal lamellae surrounded by a connective tissue capsule. Now, as we said, they are distributed in various areas of the skin, but concentrated in areas especially sensitive to light touch, like the fingers and the lips. More specifically, they are primarily located in the glabrous skin, just underneath the dermis and within the dermal papillae. Now, on the human skin or the finger drips, the the concentration it drops four times between the ages of twelve and fifty. The rate at which they are lost it correlates well with the age-related loss. Okay. Now, as we said, they are rapidly adapting mechanoreceptors. They are sensitive to shape and textural changes in the touch. Now, also. Their sensitivity provides a neural basis for reading a braille text, okay? Now, because of their superficial location in the domains, they are particularly sensitive to touch and vibrations, but for the same reason, they're limited in their detection because they can only signal the something that is touching the skin. Also, any physical deformation of the corpuscle will cause sodium ions to enter into it and which creates an action potential in the corpuscle's nerve fiber. Also, because they're rapidly adapting or phasic, the action potentials generated quickly decrease and eventually cease.